Hey, what's up everybody? Hans here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, hey, bringing a review to you guys. I've been looking forward to this one for a little bit. Heard a lot about Frey Ranch and finally uh, was able to get my hands on one. Uh, this is not the standard uh, Frey Ranch bourbon. This is the uh, single barrel, barrel strength, coming in at 124.22 proof. And... Um, you know, pretty pretty interesting background here on on the Frey Ranches. So this is bottle fi uh, 56, barrel number 988. Um, grown, distilled, matured, and bottled at Frey Ranch out in Fallon, Nevada. Uh, again, this is a single barrel, barrel strength. This one in particular was picked by Flavair. So if you guys haven't checked those Checked out Flavair, uh, ordered a few times off there, and uh, always been a good uh, experience. Picked up uh, a bottle of Smoke Wagon, red, white, and blue there uh, as well. Couldn't get my hands on this one locally. Found it on Flavair, just got this one today. So we'll do a review on that in a later video. But today, I want to focus on the Frey Ranch. Um, you know, 124.22 proof, pretty, pretty high up there. Um, uh, I, I tend to like the higher proofs, uh, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna jump into this one. Uh, distilled from four slow grown grains, so pretty cool bottle. Uh, pretty nice uh, branding here. Lots of information on this bottle. I mean, you can, you know, my reading level, we could read for days on this one. Um, but anyways, pretty awesome barrel. I think I've got, I think I covered the pertinence, uh, information there and, uh, even the top, you know, all the details in this are pretty cool. So let me get this, uh, plastic off of here and all, as always share the cork pop here with you guys. Very nice cork pop there. And again, I, I'm going to keep hitting on this. This is quite the uh, cork cork topper here. I mean, you got your standard in, inner cork, but this top piece, uh, I'm not sure what the material is, but very nice attention to detail there. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of this poured over. And let that open up for a second. So again, this is the Frey Ranch straight bourbon whiskey, 124.22 proof, single barrel, private barrel select, coming in from Fallon, Nevada. Pretty cool. I'm excited about this one. So it's got some nice color to it, as you can see here. Looks nice and rich. I really enjoy the smell on the nose. Uh, you don't pick up a lot of the, the proof, you know, the, the alcohol fumes. Picking up, uh, again, kind of those sweeter notes like a caramel. Obviously, there's a little bit of spiciness to it. Um, but again, not overbearingly like uh, like alcohol fumes, right? Just it's really a pleasant overall kind of smell. And again, you know, uh, not a professional at this. I am working on trying to identify uh, the different notes in the different bourbons that we do taste and do reviews on. Um, you know, I kind of focus on pleasant versus unpleasant. And, and again, kind of trying to, to learn myself on, on how to identify the different notes. You know, a lot of folks will pick up like different berries or bananas or, you know, runts. I mean, I've heard, heard so many different things thrown out there when folks are doing reviews. Um, you know, so I think, I think we all have our own ways of describing things. And uh, so, so that's what, you know, it's really all about. It's figuring out what you're picking up on the nose and, and on the palate. So, oh, 
it's it's opening up nicely here so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try the nose is really good so I'm looking forward to this so the viscosity was very even across the you know from the front to the back palette and was very smooth very smooth drink didn't get you know punched in the face with it at 124.22 proof you know that is a bit proofy but it was a very smooth across the tongue i didn't get ambushed with a bunch of uh, uh alcohol fume flavors or 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 just the fumes in general uh i do get some of that sugary brown sugar caramel flavor um the aftertaste here in the back you can pick up a little bit of that proofiness um, as it moves down but it's not unpleasant at all um, so as it sits here and lingers you know i'm still kind of picking up different notes different flavors again trying to define what those flavors are for me i'm still working on being able to articulate that uh, i would certainly say this is going to be one of my more favorable um, purchases here lately um, this is a great pour especially for the proof i i can't get over the 124 proof and how nice of a drink that is So I'd be interested in trying this one alongside of the other products that Frey Ranch puts out. Uh, again, this one is the single barrel, so I kind of went straight to the, to the uh, I would say, the top of the food chain. But uh, from, from what I've seen and what I've heard in other reviews and other tastings, is the Frey Ranch is, is, is a pretty good product across the board. So I wouldn't expect much else from, from the other products. You know, just the straight bourbon whiskey or the rye. Um, this one to me was was an excellent purchase going for the single barrel. It, it was a little bit pricey. Uh, I want to say it was in the $80 range for this one. Um, and then, of course, a little bit of shipping there. But, but you know, uh, I'm in Tampa, so this one doesn't sit on the shelves out here. So I had to go out and find it. Uh, I'm super excited to do so. So anyways, um, you know, again, Frey Ranch, you know, check them out if you if you come across them. Uh, even if it's not the single barrel, don't don't hesitate to try it out. You know, I, I don't think that you're going to find these um, too often, you know, over overpriced on like a secondary or whatever. Uh, but I, I definitely, you know, I'm not a I'm not an expert on the Frey Ranch. Like I said, I had to go out and order this one myself. So. Uh, let me know in the comments, you know, if you got inputs on, on the Frey Ranch uh, brand and the offerings that they have. Uh, if you guys have tried it, let me know what your thoughts are in the, in the comment section. Do me a favor, smash that like button. Help, help kind of build the channel, help get this out there to more folks. Help kind of uh, help us all kind of figure out the, uh, the uh, YouTube algorithms. And, uh, you know, just want to share this, this bottle with as many of you as possible. And I look forward to your inputs and your feedback along the way. Thanks for stopping by this evening. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, you know, I, I do these, these videos uh, to share with, with you guys and the community and, and, and folks around the country and around the world, quite honestly. Again, you know, I have seven kids myself. Um, you know, we live a, lead a very busy lifestyle. Um, and, and this is purely something that I enjoy doing. And I hope to be able to build this channel into something that, that uh, you know, allows me to be able to provide back, uh, whether it's through sharing, you know, good pours, you know, sharing my love for, for the red, white, and blue, um, you know, sharing uh, however I can. So the more, uh, the more support um, we get in the channel, the more we can do, the more, more we can, can reach out. And uh, so anyways, again, I always appreciate you guys stopping by. 
leave me some comments, questions down below. Let me know your thoughts on this one. And uh, I look forward to catching up with you guys on the next one. Have a good day, everybody.